All right, guys, let's get straight into it. First things first, um, you want Streamlabs to run in Administrator. You want uh, Call of Duty Warzone to run in Administrator. The, the process is the same. First thing you do is go to Properties, Compatibility. I already have it set up, but make sure you change it for all users, because especially if you have other users on your on your computer, right? So Streamlabs will now run in administrator mode automatically. I'm making a second video that's going to talk about how to remove this window so you don't have to click yes every time. But Streamlabs is now running in administrator mode when I click on it. I don't have to right click on it anymore. I can just click on the game, double click, it's good to go. Or the or Streamlabs. Same with Warzone. Now with Warzone, it's very critical to do this. Okay. So I already have a setup, so I right click on it, right? Remember, you can go like this, go to properties, compatibility, right? But I'm going to show you a better way to do it. So first things first, make sure you start off with Battle.net, not the actual shortcut. I will show you the Battle.net app, okay? First things first, we want this thing to run in Administrator. So we need to change this first, or the game will not launch right. Because you, you have to run the game and the loader in Administrator mode. So I'm going to change this to run as Administrator. Hit Apply for all users, remember? Okay, close that out. Now I can click this, it's the same thing as the Battle.net basically. It's just a shortcut for the game instead. It'll still launch, but it, you have to make sure you actually have the Battle.net app launcher, not just this loader. It said as administrator. Now, go to the game. See, I'm at Warzone 2. Show an Explorer. Go to Retail. Scroll down until you find COD or COD EXE. Click on it once, then right click on it. Hit Compatibility. Same thing. Run as administrator. Okay, now the game will launch. Now I'm just gonna Alt F4 as soon as the game launches because I wanna show you guys something. Okay, we'll see right now it's not doing it. So that's a perfect example. Okay, so. We actually have to launch it from Battle.net in Administrator for it to work. Now I hit play. Because that's the error you get if you don't have one of them set correctly. If you have one of them set as administrator and not the other, it won't launch. You have to launch the game from Battle.net or it will crash. If you launch it from the shortcut, in fact, I'm going to delete it, it will crash. I don't know why. It's just what it is. So if your game will not run an administrator, that's the reason why. It's because you have to have your loader, your Battle.net loader, and your game both separately as run of this administrator. Again, I have a second video I'm about to upload that's going to talk about how to remove that window so you don't have to click yes every time or no. I recommend leaving it because there's some programs like viruses that might be downloaded to the computer that's going to ask you for administrative control and it's a safety net. Alright guys, thank you. Oh, be sure to like and subscribe.